Hey everybody, Joe Burnish once again with the moldytruth.org. So, um, welcome to my uh, journey. This is my video journal when it comes to uh, mold. You know, mold in a home, mold in a business, uh, mold in an apartment building, the effects it has on your health, the effects it has on the property itself. Uh, there's a like, like I said in the last video, there's a lot of BS out there. And so the whole point of me doing this is to kind of cut through that and find out the truth. So, in the last video, I had uh, talked about uh, getting ready to go uh, get uh, certified. I, I, I went to Spokane, Washington, and spent a week getting certified in mold remediation. I'm back now from the class, and I have a few things to share with you guys. So, first thing I want to say is I had no idea that the, the mold removal industry was... Uh, was so advanced, okay? Um, there is a there is a lot of information out there that uh, most people don't know about. So, um, so I actually studied under an instructor. His name was Richard Driscoll. Um, going into this, I didn't realize that he. I didn't realize. Um, uh, I didn't know who he was exactly. Um, but it turns out he is. Uh, he is the top instructor in the mold removal industry and water restoration industry when it comes to this kind of stuff, okay? He's also a professor at Webster University. Um, he's actually working on his doctorate right now. Here's a picture of, of Richard and I, okay? So this is a picture of us. This is when I got my, this is after I passed my test, uh, made it through the class, got my certification. This is a picture of Richard and I shaking hands. Now, I just want to say I have the utmost respect for this gentleman. Um, he actually had, he, not only did he write the book, but on, on a mold removal, and let me, actually I'm going to grab a picture. I'm going to put this on pause and I'm going to grab a, uh, I'm going to grab that book so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm back and when I say he wrote the book, I mean, he wrote the book. I mean, check this out. This is <laughs> this is no joke. Now, this is all about water restoration and mold removal. Um, but just to give you an idea of what's involved and and how far the industry has actually gone as far as like creating um, procedures, guidelines, and uh, and just getting certified to get into this field, it was it was uh, much more intense than I had in, than I had anticipated. I didn't know what to expect. But now that uh, now that I know, it's uh, it's pretty intense. Here's a workbook that went with it, um, and so the uh, the actual certification that I got, um, I came to find out, is the highest certification you can possibly get. It's from the Restoration Sciences Academy. If you want to check that out and research that, um, and Richard, like I said, Richard Driscoll is the top guy in the field. So I felt very honored to have uh, studied under him and um, it's pretty amazing the amount of uh, misinformation that is out there. I knew that I knew that there was because I found all the conflicting information but it's cool because now I'm not getting my information from Google okay I am getting my information from people that have had uh, years of experience so I've got a client in um, Los Angeles Dion Bush who has over 22 years experience in the restoration industry. Um, he was also at the class with me getting certified. Um, I've got a client in Colorado, Joe Cravello, who has uh, over 15 years experience in mold remediation um, and does it on a very high scale. Uh, and I've also got a client in Boston who has a service master uh, franchise. He uh, also has over 20 years experience in mold removal. So I've got some very good resources to turn to. I've got all of these guys' cell phone numbers. I've got their emails. And anytime I need information or have conflicting information and have questions, uh, I know where to go, okay? It's not going to Google anymore. So it's really cool. Um, that being said, uh, this class, so when I went and got certified this class, um, we, it was actually more than just book work, okay? It was, it was some hands-on stuff. Now, what, now, I personally, now that I'm certified, I still don't have any hands-on experience. 
Um, but what I'm going to do is when one of my clients have a big job, I'm going to fly out there. I'm going to get my hands dirty and I want to see exactly what goes down when um, somebody has a major mold issue and walls have to be torn out, um, bio sides have to be applied, containments have to be built. I mean, it's very involved. And I mean, we, we actually, in, in this class, we're building containments, basically these big plastic structures um, that, uh, that will actually contain the mold so that you can work on it. Because if you start working on, on mold that is not contained, the spores will automatically, that's a defense mechanism, when a mold is touched, spores will automatically be released and spread to the rest of the house or apartment building or office building or whatever it is that's being worked on. Um, and depending on the severity of the mold damage uh, and depending on the, how sensitive people are to that specific um, species of mold uh, will determine, you know, how dangerous it really is. And that's why you see people suited up in hazmat suits and respirators, just like uh, this picture here. This is... This is Richard, our instructor, um, showing us how to properly put on the hazmat suit, tape it up, how to remove it, all that good stuff. So, like I said, pretty involved, man. This industry, and I'm, and I'm just getting started in it. This industry is very involved. Now, some of the stuff that I learned while getting certified is stuff that I'm going to be making some videos about. So stay tuned for that. Here's a little sample of what we're going to be talking about. Hold on. Okay, number one thing is bleach does not kill mold, it just takes the color out. So I'm going to make a video all about um, the, uh, the lie that's out there. If you Google how to remove mold, you're going to find bleach. Everybody's going to be talking about bleach. Uh, most of the people that are talking about that have never dealt with serious mold issues. So we'll talk about bleach, make a video specifically about that. Um, I have another video about... Um, the, uh, the air quality uh, inspectors um, industry. So there's a, there's a whole other industry that's based on testing air quality, whether it's for mold or for, uh, for anything. Um, how unregulated that is, how many people are... There's so many people out there that don't know what they're doing and they actually cause more problems than, than solve problems. Um, so we'll be getting into that as well. We'll be getting into why this industry is not regulated like I think it should be. Um, we will be getting into, let's see, um, we'll, we'll talk about uh, how drying mold uh, does not kill it, does not solve your problem, and why uh, complete remediation is absolutely necessary, especially if you have health risks involved. Um, we're going, let me see, let's see what else I got here set up. We're going to talk about some of the scary aspects of mold. We're going to talk about some of the BS out there, what, you know, why it's not as dangerous as some people say it is, at least certain species, um, when you need to worry about it. And then we're, but there are you know, some rare cases that are pretty scary, like uh, uh, there's a lung disease from mold that we're going to get into where it's, it's just nasty stuff and why you should not uh, take chances. Um, I'm not going to get into a bunch of scientifics. We got into some from some very detailed science in this certification class, which I'm not going to really get into. Um, I don't think if people really want to get into the science of it, they can find all kinds of uh, reports and uh, articles elsewhere. I will provide resources, but I'm not going to get into that. That's not what I feel like my, um, my job here is to do. Um, let's see if I have anything else. Uh, we're going to get into um, a big, a big issue when it comes to mold is um, the cost. Uh, it can be thousands and thousands of dollars for a serious mold problem. And uh, many times, um, homeowners or property owners aren't, uh, aren't prepared for such a big cost. Uh, so we're going to talk about insurance. Um, what kind of insurance you should have, what to look for in your current policy to make sure you are covered, to make sure something like this, in case something this, like this ever happens, you don't have to worry about it. So we'll talk about insurance. Basically, how to save you money. Um, and we'll talk about a lot of the stuff that, uh, that people think works but doesn't work. We'll talk about the stuff that does work, stuff that you can do yourself for small mold jobs. Um, 
But t that's to give you an idea. That's that's what we're going to get into. We're going to get into the stuff that uh, most people, real world stuff that people really care about. So, once again, uh, my name is Joe Burnich, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.